Okay, what I've done here is uh, I keep hearing feedback that this is all capacity from the back of this Cree board into the generator. Let me show you what, what I have here. There's my black lead, which is my ground. It's just floating. And here's the cable going into the generator. Here I have a coil. Okay. I'm not using the third diode. I go right into the back of this guy on that copper strip again. I have the two diodes out here, and I have them the circuit completed with that wire right there through the block. And so what I'm going to do, as you see, if that's capacity, let me explain this. If I were to touch that board and touch this generator, why wouldn't it go higher than, instead of being turned off? If I touch this coil, I can see that I change the SRF, and that's easily explainable. But if I do anything down here, which would give coupling like an antenna, for example, to the back of this board, it should shut it or increase its output rather than shut it down. So what I'm going to do is I have it set at a low level right now so that I can tune it accurately. If you have it set too bright, uh, it's very hard for you to discern exactly where that point is. So in fact, at this time I come out 13.5. So I still haven't got it right at the 13.45 that I want it to be. Okay, there we are. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and reach over here and increase the output of the generator to around 22 volts peak to peak. And you see what I have. Now, is this antenna coupling? I don't know. I touch it, and guess what? It goes out again, right? Okay, what I have here is almost equivalent to what you're going to get out of this board when you hook it to the electrical circuit. So, no, it's not coupling back into the generator. Where it's happening is in this loop and the capacity that's providing the coupling. Now, I know that's hard to understand, but let me show you something. Let's say we take a circuit that looks like that of capacitors, and we hook them all together in that way, and we say, okay, what is the capacity at the red point that I've got the question mark at? Let me turn this down so it don't kill everything. Okay, and let me show you here. Actually, that little circuit block is like this for infinity. It never stops. In other words, it replicates throughout the universe. So we can then go back to here, though, and we can say with this guy right here, okay, we have an infinite number of these circuits throughout the universe. What is the capacity we see at the question mark? The answer to that is very easy to find with simple algebra. It's zero. So let me go ahead and crank this up again. You see what I've got? Uh, let me go ahead and... You see how hard it is to tune when it's so bright? But yet if we get it down here to where right there is the maximum and bring it back up. It makes it a lot easier to tune. So anyway, what I'm, what I'm trying to do is get people from going off in the wrong direction and making assumptions based upon living in the box. Okay, thanks for watching.